Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a big, mean, green, toy hauling motorhome machine. This is the 2024 Thor Outlaw Model 38 MB in the awesome green exterior color. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Outlaw and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys this massive Class A gas motor home that is a toy hauler, the Outlaw. Before I begin, let's say hi to my Outlaw. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going Outlaw? It's going good. You know, this is so exciting. I love toy haulers. Yes. Aren't they cool? Yes, they really are and it's such a unique motor home. It is. And you never see Class A toy haulers. You don't. And you definitely don't see them with that green. The green is mean and aggressive. I absolutely love it, Andrea. Let's begin. Model is Thor Outlaw 38 MB. The actual tip tip length of this Class A gas motorhome is 39 feet 9 inches. Andrea, this is a beast of a motorhome. This is the Outlaw. I love the front windshield. This is this is its own category of Class A gas motorhome, Andrea. It's the only toy hauler that you can get in a Class A gas. Now, Newmar did do the Canyon Star, which is a front diesel engine. This one's gasoline, but they're both toy haulers. I love the big headlight signs. Look how mean it is and aggressive. The nice LED. You got chrome going everywhere. Chrome going on here in these mirrors with cameras on both sides. Uh, you do have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. Very nice. What Thor does with all their chassis, they upfit it with the Moride. They call it Thor Ride. So it, it's kind of like the Easy Drive Elite system, but that's what Thor does, just to balance out their chassis to make it a smoother ride. And then Ludi, Sires, Dragons, and Michelins. I love those. 255-80R, 22.5, with the shiny Alcoa rims. Andrea, everything about this motorhome is big, gaudy, and flashy. You agree? I agree. And nothing else screams I agree more than this beautiful green paint job. Absolutely love it. You have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And two things I want to point out about this motorhome, Andrea, that's different from every other motorhome in the world. Look at how the roof slants up. That's for the back for the garage area. And look how there's a second door on a Class A gas motorhome. That is also for the garage area. I can't wait to show you guys the inside. Coming on down here, we have a very nice TV on the outside. Sound bar. Aluminum slam latch doors. There's your fresh water propane tanks miss jen bing please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who is watching on television right over here we have some more storage andrea i love the aluminum sand latch I doors do too. right here we got some batteries okay not a lot of exterior storage going on actually that's because you have a big garage right check this out very that's nice good storage not only that, Andre, not only do you have two doors, but you have another power awning with LED lights there. Right here, you got this Thor emblem. That's a place for you to leash up your furry friends so they don't go running along. And then let's open this door. Andre, look at that garage area. Just peek in. Very, very, cool. very nice. This is a gas motor home with three air conditioning units. So check it out. There's two roof mount air conditioning units. And if you look right there, Andrea, that's a side mount air, air conditioning unit and that is for the garage area. And there's also cut out vents that we'll show you on the other side. Frameless windows, of course. Very good storage there. More storage here. And a propane quick connect right there. Coming around the back, Andre, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 5,000 pound hitch. Nope, 8,000 pound hitch. I'm wow. not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're going to release 5,000 pounds, especially if you're loading this baby up with some toys on the inside. Look at the outlaw. It's mean and aggressive. And Andrea, I lied to America. There's three outside awnings. That's an awning right there. So when the patio drops down or the ramp door drops down, it makes a patio and you have a little awning space there. Also, there's a backup camera there 
and then just like this, Andrea, this is how easy it wow. drops down. Just like that. Clips in, clips in. And then you have your patio. Yes, ma'am. That is so cool. This is so nice, Andrea. This is literally giving you this much more living space. So this is like a 40 foot class A gas motor home. But once you're all set up, you get this patio space. Fan freaking tastic. I love this feature. And Andrea, hang yes. on a second. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Where the RV salesman's go set up the patio for you? Nobody. Nope, no ma'am. Right over here, emergency fuel system shut off because right here, you actually have a fuel tank. You know what, what that's for, Andrea? Your toys. Yes, ma'am. Right over here is an exhaust. Here's where you're filling up that gas tank. Again, it's a separate gas tank for your toys. Right here is the storage, 50 amp power cord reel. 50 amp power cord without the reel. That's what I meant to say. Coming on down, again, look at this beautiful paint job. I freaking love it. It looks so good close up. Yeah, it looks so close up. No, I mean, it looks just, good far away. It does, but when you see the green, it's just more heightened or more magnified. Other side of the storage. Green, what is yours? Andrea. What? Green, what is yours? I don't know what that is. It's okay. Sorry. Jen knows what it means. Of course. Right there, we got the uh, outdoor shower, <laughs> black water tank purifier. dump. Yep, water purifier. And all my TikTokers know what that means. Look at well. this. This is nice. Look at the water, the water, the water heater. Yeah. Jeez. Beautiful. I'm so glad they painted over it. Really nice storage. An Onan 5500 generator. And then right there is the hydraulics for your auto leveling. Andrea. The outside of this motorhome is beautiful, astonishing, and I freaking love it. But the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I wonder what the cargo carrying capacity is. 4,231 pounds. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Especially with this being a toy hauler. Yes, ma'am. Okay, the so slide outs are in. Slide is in. Yeah. So look at this. Pretty good walkway, even with the slide in. I can definitely get through here. Here is the bathroom and the bedroom. And you can definitely open the refrigerator with the slide in. Andrea, we gotta get these big slide outs open. We're actually gonna start in the rear in the toy hauler part first, just to switch things up. But first, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code MATS RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea. We're starting all the way in the rear. You know why? Because it's a toy hauler. America, that's why, and we can do that. And you know what? Sometimes it's cool to switch everything up. Yes. Watch your step down. Okay, that's interesting. Into the garage of this motorhome. I'm surprised there's no step here. Andrea, right. again, just like this, we have an awesome patio area. I feel safe. I feel like I got an additional eight feet of living area. We have an awesome power awning with LED lights. When you come on out, Andrea, when you step on out, you can see that we also have these weather doors. They close like this for complete privacy, but you can also take these down 
and then you can keep it so uh, it's just the bug screen. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, very nice. Oh, and they open up that way so it can help get your toy haulers in or all uh, your toys in. Not only that, Andrea, we have these two seats back here, which is awesome because what they do, they both fold down. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh man, there's a trick to it. They used to just put, you know, you could just pull them right up and they were like, they used to be really easy. I don't know what they did. Is yeah. it a jackknife type of thing? Well, maybe. There we Jack go. Knife. That's what it is. It's not to flip up. It's the jackknife just like that. But see, then they don't connect. Right. So that's not right. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And there's your D-rings there, as you can see on the ground. So you yeah. can lock down your toys. It, and and, and that's then they fold up. Just like that, Andrea. They fold up, so now you have the garage area. Huh, this is like a pad. I wonder if... That's probably what fills in. Okay. Oh, you probably need to drop the table down. Interesting. Yeah, you probably drop the table down and that fills in. So then it does make the nice sleeping area. But Andrea, look at this awesome garage There's a TV space. too. You got a TV right here, it swivels around. Very cool. You got, again, your AC unit there. Right here's your nice worktop table for like your tools and stuff like that. Tons of storage all the way around. Huge ceiling in here. And then right there, Andre, you got the stairwell. And I love how that drops down to fill in. Again, if you need to maximize the storage space in here. Very, very nice. You got lights right up there that aren't even on and the speakers. You don't need the lights on Max in here. Fan. There's just so much light, it's fantastic. There is a step there, we just didn't pull it out. Ah, very okay. nice. And then coming on into the master bedroom, it's very nice. We're going completely backwards. Today, we are. Yeah. Feels strange. Right here, we do have the storage. Nice art deco. No, but it's actually cute. It looks like alligator scales. It does. <laughs> Yo, we had a big old gator in our yard we the should, other day. We uh, should bing that in there. So they well, can it's see. such a bad picture. Bing! But it was in our Thank next you, door Jen. Neighbor the, yard, neighbor's it yard. It climbed over the fence. Yeah, it was scary. Bro, let me tell you something. Jen hates me for this. If a gator grabbed Yuna, I would straight destroy that gator. I really, I'm prop my hand. I don't care how big that gator is. <laughs> you guys are gonna see a Florida man on the news. Yeah. That freaking, I swear, if it attacked if my Yuna. I would do the same you thing. You hear that, alligators? That's right, if I saw one, I would jump on that alligator and I would fight for my dog. Storage behind the TV. And then yep. we've got uh, drawers here. You know, every time I walk Yuna by the lake. Nine, no, yeah, seven drawers. Every time it's I walk close. Yuna by the lake, I always love. I fantasize about a gator, like not fantasize, because there's there's like one alligator in there, and that's probably the one that was in our neighbor's yard. What's the, what's the alligator's name? I don't know. Think of one. Uh, we'll call him Albert. Listen here, Albert. The more you Albert mess around, the, the more you're gonna know. The more you're gonna find out, Albert. Albert the alligator. <laughs> trust me. I don't think uh, I could listen. I'm not a fighter. But I'm <laughs> when it comes to our babies. There you go. Right Matt, here on Drake. I forgot to show that real quick. What's that? The MCD this? shade that covers the uh, double door there. Yes, it's just a privacy shade and it is motorized. Okay. Check out this valance, Andre. Since uh. you you decide to switch everything up on us, check out that valance. Denied. Womp 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 womp. Sorry. You wanna like think about it or I don't need to think about it. Okay. It's denied. Ten, hey, ten four. <laughs> he like, he wants me to like him because he likes them. <laughs> right over here, we got a queen size bed. USB on both sides. Very nice headboard. And then let's take a look. We got storage you, above. And this is a tilt of view bed, everybody. Yes, very nice. Right up there. And you do have the two side windows right there. You got USBs down there with little nightstands. And you got a nice pocket door here. I yes. don't know if there's storage huge, under the bed. Huge pocket door, Andrea. Uh, no, I think the tank is there. Oh no! Wow! Wow! Very nice storage. Me. It tricked me too. I really thought there wasn't gonna be. Very mm -hmm. nice, Andrea. Not only that, coming on in here, we're gonna go straight into the bathroom. This bathroom is fan freaking fantastic. Okay, so let me see that step up. Not bad. 
It's a nice 30 by 36 shower, Andrea. Look how Look tall. Look at this ultimate yeah. head height. This... Again, if anybody's real tall and they're like too tall for class A's, even if you don't have toys, you might want to consider an outlaw right. because you got tons of head height here. So nice. Okay, so we have uh, some storage here. Very nice. Storage here. Yes, ma'am. Nice medicine cabinet. Huge. And then we've got a really good size sink. Yes. Tons of prep space and yes. a little bit more there. And then, oh, we got liquefied. I didn't even see that there. That is the absolute best black tank treatment in the RV industry. Guys, if you're America, if you're American, and you love RVs and you go camping, make sure you buy Liquify. Andrea, 100% made in the USA. That's right. Small business owners, that's us because we're a small business. And you can get that at primepoopingposition.com. Currently exclusive on Amazon. But do you know the keyword there, Andrea? Currently. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Here's what I know what's going on, Andrea. This is a porcelain toilet and this is a prime poop position. Ding! Very wow. nice. Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. Wow, we are really going out of order. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. No, you're not. Okay, I'm gonna if start. If we're going out here. of order, you're going backwards too. All right, so here's the uh, compressor refrigerator. Yes. Contour. Contour rapid cool. Good size. Uh, we've got the contour convection microwave. Andrea, I know you don't like the valances. I like the backsplash. But what do you think? Yeah, you like that? I, I like do. that too. I do like the backsplash. I, I really do. Yeah. Okay, so we got a two burner propane cooktop. Nice. With one burner induction. Very cool. Solid surface countertop. Yes, ma'am. Got some storage under here with adjustable shelves. Oh, yeah. And then we've got uh, a little drawer. Okay. Now, these are soft clothes. I don't know why that one's not closing, but here we go, look. Nice. Nice. And then this is a bigger drawer down here. And then we've got a cabinet here with adjustable shelves. So nice, Andrea. They gave you a window in here. And then we've got the double sink here. Wow. With the extension. And then let's see, we've got some more storage under the sink. Under the sink. Well, that's your access panel. Under the sink. But yeah, you can see that your little trash can can go there. Yeah. And I don't see a designated place for a pantry, so. We'll you know, it is what it is. Move on. We'll talk about that later. Right over here is our electronic controls. But Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, I don't know the exact MSRP of this one, but I did find one at our Jacksonville store. It's also 2024. So I'm assuming it's gonna be the same price. But no, this one might be a little cheaper, might be a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna be around the same. Andrea, MSRP, oh, never mind. It is the exact same MSRP. So it's gonna be the exact same sale price. MSRP on this motorhome here is $281,385, Andrea. That is the MSRP. Sale price on a 2024, the first 2024 we've ever shown on the show, 29% off. What? You know why? Wow. General RV, that's why. To a sale price of $199,995. Andrea, that's phenomenal sale price. And if you're interested in this outlaw or any outlaw, reach out to my team because there might always be a little bit of a better price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Reach out to our team nationwide because we're gonna get you one thing and one thing only and that is the best price in America. Andrea, look at this. More crocodile skins. <laughs> I'll be you, Albert. Oh gosh. If you come after my Yuna. We've got some cabinets above here. Yes, ma'am. Very it really nice. It looks like a really big window, doesn't it? Yes. Very nice uh, blinds right here, or um, balances here. We have daytime shades and privacy shades right there. Really big windows that just lets in so much natural light. And then look at this furniture. It complements the valances 
perfectly. It's the traditional outlaw. I, I see that it has the nail heads in there right, with the like red dark, trim. It's a dark brown leather with the red trim and those nail heads, as Andrea says. Really nice. It's just jackknifes down to make a bed. And we're sitting across from the Dinette Entertainment Center. So first and foremost, we have an Insignia TV, which is very nice. This drops down to make a bed. We got your cup holders here. Andrea, stop over that QR code so people can scan if they want to learn a little bit more about four in this unit. Nice windows on both sides. Again, it drops down to make a bed. We've got storage underneath. And then storage. Soft clothes. Yes. Let's see. Yep. So that's good. At least it's on both of them. Yes, ma'am. And then above, we do have a bunk over the cab. And so let's cut the engine right off. There. Yep. So Let me, this um, one. Hold I'm going to put it all the way up because see, look. To get it back level. Okay. So you see how it's not level? Back up for a second. Schwintech 101. They're two separate motors and they're not level right now. So what I want to do, I just put it all the way up and then it stopped. So now what I want to do is put it down until it makes a noise. Stop. And then go all the way back up and you're going to see it. Reset. Very good. We learn something new every day, Matt. Thanks. Wow. You're a superhero. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> All right. How so. they get offline is because people hold the button right. down and they see that it's they see that it's all the way down, but it's not all the way down. You just want to continue to hold it until it makes the noise. So let's see if it'll reset level because it's not level right now. Just there we go. Just like that. And so look at that nice safety netting behind yep. 500 pounds is what it holds. Yep. Now let's get this sucker all the way up. All right, Andrea. A little bit of technical difficulties, but just like that, you yeah, had the... It's fixed. For the second time. Good job, Matt. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Coming on up here in the cockpit area. All right. Check it out. We'll turn this baby on. We're in the 7.3 liter V8. I got my cup holder here. Auto leveling controls right there. Here's where I'm able to adjust my mirrors. I got my headlights. Really nice steering wheel. This is America. This is Ford. We are trucking in the biggest chassis that Ford has to offer. Right here, we got our screens. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cup holders, cell phone holders. How do you feel? This is comfortable. Yes, ma'am. I love this workstation. Look yes. This is so sturdy and it's up pretty high. Yes. And both these seats do swivel. There is a pedestal table that goes there. There sure is. And it looks like we have some storage above. Yes, ma'am. Show it to us. Very, very and nice. And the other side. Yes. Very nice. Wow. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. We're all backwards. Now, before everybody... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not the review. Look at these nice stitching in the captain seats. Outlawed, you know what I'm saying? Andrea, it's time for three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like about it. What do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. Oh, Andrea, I wish you didn't say that because there's so much to like in here. Okay, do you have one? Of course. You go first. <laughs> All right, I'm not a fan of the... I'm sorry, I gotta go here. Whoa, don't do it. The interior. No! I'm sorry, it's my taste, but in the past I've seen some Class A's with really cute interior for the toilet haulers, but this to me is just too much. Just too much. Andrea. To each their own, Matt. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. That's right. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me is going to be how these beds don't just flip out and make a bed. I don't like having that third piece in the middle not a fan of that i don't like that and that's dislike number two and then andrea dislike number three i'm about to steal a page out of your playbook oh okay no pantry right you know what i'm saying it's a huge motor home again it's super impressive that they were able to cram this much with getting that garage but again no pantry is no bueno and again that's three things we dislike about it andrea now it's time for three things 
we love about this motorhome. May I? Sure. I love this garage area. This is so cool. I love the patio. I love the garage. The patio gives you eight extra feet of living space. And this garage is good for your golf carts, your ATVs, not your smart cars. Do not put a smart car in here. But it's just good for so much space. Oh, and just so everybody knows, we did not mention cargo carrying capacity of the garage is 1,400 pounds. But no, for that door, I think it's only like 800 pounds or whatever. So don't overload it in here. Hey, no before you tow and no before you load. Andrea, that's like number one. What is like number two? Oh my goodness. Well, you stole mine. Okay. So, I can go again. Actually, uh, I'm going to say this. This is kind of weird. I'm going to say I love the height in here. That was my number two. Because there's a lot of times where you might feel claustrophobic in a bedroom or something. Yes, but anywhere. But you put it in here because of the ceiling being so high. Yes, so let yes. let me show everybody that. It's kind of hard if you've never been in a toy hauler to understand it, but it's it's amazing how tall the ceilings the are. The head height in here is fan freaking fantastic. That's number two. And then Andrea. See, I hate saying this because I'm doing a disservice to Outlaw, but I'm going to say that green paint job. It's mean, it's green, it's different, and I'm going to combo that with that awesome aluminum slam latch doors. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this outlaw or any outlaw, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com backslash Matt. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. Get there from mattsrvareviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments. They do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.